Hello, um, this lesson is on the DS and the CODA. I'm going to um, save this score as another title so I don't mess up my score. Oh, I actually don't, I don't want this score. I was working on a new score. Cancel. I'm going to close this one out. I can, uh, if I do things correctly in this, I can save this stuff. Open. Working on a new score. Here it is, Havana 2. Okay. The band I wrote this for, they wanted me to add a guitar lead guitar part, so I'm getting ready to do that. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh yeah, I want to save this as something else. I'm going to save it as a video score. Okay, view, scroll view. Make it a little smaller. And now I'm going to set up a, um, a DS sign. Uh, not there. Right here. This is where I want it. Make it. Make the the A section only one time through on the DS instead of two times through. So I got my um, repeat tool selected. Double click, in, double click in this measure. And I'm going to pick this tool. And um, I mean this symbol, DS symbol. I'm going to edit it. Set font. Make it bigger. 36. Select. Show on the top staff. Yeah, when, on scores I like to do things like that only on the top staffs because it'll you don't have to do the target either. I like to do things on the top staff because if you do it on all the staves, um, it'll just get in the way of the music. So I've got it only on the top staff. <clears throat> and I have to look, watch my mouse cursor. The bottom left here you got measure number. But that corresponds to this left measure here. I'm going to do that. So this tells me it's measure 31. So I'm going to write measure 31 down. I'll need that for later. Okay, now I'm going to do the DS. <clears throat> uh, after this section yeah right here okay so I'm going to put the DS I got my repeat tool selected double I guess you don't have to be right in the measure you can do it above the measure too double click and I'm going to pick the DS Alcoda and I'm going to edit that. I want the uh, Arial font. Bold 16. Okay. And I'm going to remove one of these words, the coda. And that's going to be good. Select. Okay, this was where I have to enter that measure number in. Um, I wrote it down as 31. So that's going to take me back to that sign that I put in earlier. And I'm going to leave this marked like it is. Always jump. That means we're, we're just going to go through this section of the music once, and then we're going to jump on that DS back to the sign. 
I'm going to press uh, OK. Now I'm going to put a coda symbol in here. Pick this one, edit, set font. I'm going to make it bigger, 48. OK. And select. I don't have to worry about this. I don't have to double do this. The, the DS was fine. OK. So I got my symbol there. DSL Coda. So while I'm towards the end of the music here, I'm going to also set up the Coda. Um, <coughs> whoops! I shouldn't be using <laughs> shouldn't be using the drag when you're in this um, scroll view. Look up here, view scroll page view, scroll view, because you lose where you lose track of where you are on the measures if you drag. You should use this. The bar down below. Um, here's where I want to set the coda. Yep, I'll set it right here. So I got my repeat tool selected. Double click. Select. OK. <clears throat> okay, so, oh, so while I'm here, I want to write down the measure number of the coda. Look at the, look at the bottom left over here. It gives you the measure number, 86. So it'll be 8788, but I'll go over so you can see. 8788. Okay, I'm going to write that down. 88. 88. Now I'm going to go back towards the beginning. I already put the DS sign. I'm going to look where I want to put the two coda sign. So intro. Oh yeah. So I got my DS right there. And here's where I want to put two coda. So I have the uh, repeat tool selected. I'm going to go right here over this measure. Two coda. I'm going to edit that. Set font. I'm going to put Arial. Bold. 16. OK. I'm going to remove um, all of this backspace. I'm just going to um, have the word 2 right there. And uh, I'm going to select up here. Now I have to put the target where the code is. And I wrote it down as 88. Always jump no, because if I leave that marked, the first time it goes th through the playback up here, it'll jump to the coda the first time. So I don't want always jump. I'm going to jump on the second, after the second, or during the second time. So jump on the pass two. And everything else is good. Okay. Now I'm going to put that coda symbol in here. Right here. I don't worry about the target measure this time. Two coda. Okay. I think I set everything up correctly. Now I'll check it with the playback. I like to check everything with the playback. It helps you make sure you don't make a mistake in your score. You can even check if you get your DS correct and, and your codas. Everything placed correctly. I'll start playback right here. I want to hear some editing I just did on the score. Um, I want to check my mixer. It might be too loud. 
I had it turned up loud when I was listening to it. Yeah, I've got to turn it down. <clears throat> Waiting for the sounds to load. And now I can turn down the volume. I think that'll be good. Okay. You can actually change this while while it's playing also. You can adjust the volumes. Oh, I want to hear the sax. I might change it while it's playing. I think I need that all the way up. Yeah, I didn't have the sax loud enough earlier. This, this looks all wrong. Too loud. Oh well, I'll just try it, see what it sounds like. Here we go. Yeah, it looks like I uh, did everything correct. It came out right. I I heard something I need to edit. I'm glad I did this. Um, so that's the end of this lesson. The next lesson will be on uh, repeats and repeat endings. And y'all have a good day. <laughs>